marvellous weather today, isn't it? It seems we chose the right day for departure. Oh, also, hello. Welcome back to Eastwood. Um, I'm Shrewboy313, and in the last episode, we left New Dam City, and now we're headed to Esther City with William and Daniel. That was there. That's that point. Anyway, turn that frown upside down, my lady. There's nothing to worry about. If you wear your nerves so thin already, why, you'll run out of nerves to wear before we even reach Esther City. Have you ever been to Esther City, William? Alas, no. We're as in the dark about the good city as you are. But, if the legends are correct, then so long as we continue eastward along the main line, we'll reach it sure as silver. Ah, we've already lost sight of New Dam City. Daniel, level off here. Yes, sir. Not to be stingy, of course, we simply don't want to run out of fuel. Getting stuck in the middle of who knows where isn't normally my cup of tea. I mean, are we going to stop somewhere, or is it just straight on to Esther City? That's what I'm wondering. I must say, John, I don't remember you having a daughter. Don't tell me, that school teacher? No? Then, Catherine, was it? She did seem to have some interest in you, and yet somehow... Bah, never mind. There's no need to explain anything to me. Adults like us have our reasons for everything. Yes, reasons for everything. Daniel, is he... how is he? I mean, his eyes are flashing, whatever that means. Is that so? Oh, the actual Daniel, right. Oh, so is William Daniel's father, then? Oh, and that's why the robot's called Daniel. I mean, that's kind of sad, but I get it. <laughs> if only he hadn't been my son, then he certainly would have had it a lot easier. Hey, what's that? Outside, John! There's some kind of giant mushroom outside. Mushroom? Okay, nope, they're, they're literally our giant mushrooms. <laughs> Sam was not kidding. My, my, that is quite the substantial shroom. A mushroom of this size, why? You haven't seen anything like that before, have you, William? Twould bring in no small lump of change in New Dam City, that's for sure. There's some for fog gathering up ahead. Should I reduce the speed? Interesting. Very well, safety first, as they say. Alright, fog era, I guess. <laughs> Though, what's that behind us? How oh, lovely. <laughs> A ghost train. Oh dear. Faster, Daniel, if you would. There's another train chasing us. Increasing speed. I mean, it kind of just looks like ours with just like a rocket on top. It's going so fast, it's gonna hit us. Not good, not good, not good. Faster, Daniel, can't you push any harder? We've already reached my max speed. We're gonna crash, Charlie XCXTs. Are we still alive? W what just happened, Leah Cates? <laughs> the train! That was the iron carbine. It looked exactly the same. 
You must be mistaken, my dear. I created the Iron Carbine myself. You'll not find another train like it in all of the world. But I saw it! Did you see it, John? Huh? There's something weird with the fuel tank. Almost like the fuel we used just came back? What on earth do you mean by that, came back? That's just what I mean. Almost like we didn't use any for fuel after seeing that mushroom. Or more like we haven't moved at all. And how, pray tell, could that even be remotely possible? Have we, like, been <laughs> teleported back? Or, like, have we gone back in time or something? We're currently making good time down the main rail. To go this fast without using any fuel while we'd be the world's next billionaires. I was going to say, and there are the mushrooms again. So, like, is the fog going to come down and then the train will appear again? That's weird, I swear we've already gone by this place. Alright now, my vertically challenged friend. Let me entertain you for just one moment. If all that you're saying is truly the case, then we should be approaching some fog soon, hmm? Approaching f fog? Daniel, I don't believe I remember teaching you how to lie! Wait, are you being serious? Okay, Slay, guess we're, <laughs> guess we're stuck on this mug again. It's the other iron carbine. Mother of God, faster, Daniel, it's gaining on us. Damnation. If the iron carbine is total, it's going to cost a fortune. Not to mention all the fuel costs. We're back. I've got it. The key is that other iron carbine. Things become, shall we say, weird as soon as the other iron carbine catches up with us. Which means all we need to do is go faster than it. Daniel, you're going to want to tighten your grip on the shift because when that thing appears again, you're going to push the little engine that could as fast as you can push it. Yes, sir. But, like, if we already, like, pushed it as fast as it would go last time, the train- other train still caught us, like... What is the tea? <laughs> Here again. Don't tell me I'm going in circles. That fog. Bestie, that water's purple. Even the water's gone deathly still. Don't worry, we'll be there soon. I simply can't believe it. We're the real Iron Carbine. How is it that phony poser can go as fast as us, hmm? No, no, I mustn't let that iron rap scallion get to my head. Daniel, when the time comes, I want you to use that. The that? But it's not very, um, stable. Oh, pish, you worry too much. Besides, if we're not able to pull out ahead of the speed fiend, we might be stuck here in this loop for the rest of our lives. And you two, you'd best find something to hold on to. Let's just say we're about to get going pretty fast. Not the table. <laughs> <laughs> High density fuel loaded. Perfect. Now let's see if our friend Mr. Light makes an appearance. Here comes the fog. Prepare yourself, Daniel, and await my command. Not yet. Come on. There it is! Now, Daniel, now! Activating fuel.
Can't you go any faster? It's gaining on us. I can't. We're already going as fast as we can go. Any faster and we might blow up. Here it comes. Blast. Are we going to be trapped here forever then? Well, that was different. <laughs> Are you uh, okay? That's certainly smart. Is that it then? Have we failed once more? I think we've hit something. Oh, is it gonna be Isabella and <laughs> Alva's rocket? <laughs> Over there, look! I see something. I was gonna say, is that what we've hit? <laughs> oh. Okay. Not what I was expecting, but <laughs> we're in a theater. If the young master learns of this, he'll be piping mad. He will, oh he will, dear dear. And who are you two? We're on our way to Esther City. Except that, well, uh, we got stopped by some weird train. Ah, you speak of the time field. The flow of time is a bit of a jumble within the fog, you see. Without the proper speed, you'll never make it through. Just like, well, Monk Hollywood. Okay. <laughs> Once upon a time in Monk Hollywood. Monk Hollywood? Wait, then you're trapped here too? Trapped? We're all a little trapped, wouldn't you say? At any rate, if you need any assistance, my children will gladly help you. You can find them in the car up ahead. You mean those guys over there? Um, well, yes, those are also my children. But I'm afraid they're a bit lacking in the, uh, intelligence department. No, my other children up ahead are further, you know, playing. They're always finding something new and novel to play with. Okay, uh, thank you, um... Mom, feel free to call me Mom. That's what everyone does. Okay, thank you, Mom. John, doesn't she look like a bit like the robot in Greenberg? Oh, are they just like... In front of the TV. Oh, do you think maybe these are like people that have been like stuck in the time loop just for like so long? That maybe like their brains have deteriorated? Like that's what it is? Perhaps? I don't know. Hey! Eek! I say, what was that terrific explosion just now? Damn, they scared the devil out of me. They're not filming an action sequence now, are they? Eek! I'm so sorry, sir. That was just us crashing violently into the side of your train. Ook, ook, ak, a great train heist. Brilliant. Clever girl, I'm the producer here. The producer? Yes, though some people still remember me as the mayor. It was when that old chap came around, yes. That was when we metamorphosized into a glorious filmmaking troupe d'extravagant. Naturally, I was elected producer, though I've been known to stretch my acting muscles from time to time as well. What say you, girl? Do you like moving pictures? Oh, I do. Earthborn's my favourite. Earthborn, you say? Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. Why, when I graced the stage in that film, I was but a haughty young chimp filled with delusions of grandeur. You acted in Earthborn? Who do you play, huh? The Rocket Knight, the Hunter, the Archmage? Ho 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 ho. But of course, there is only one role I could have played. The Monkey! Wait, then you guys don't still happen to have the Rocket Knight's rocket here, do you? Rocket? Come to think of it, I do remember seeing something of the sort. You'd need to ask in the storage car, though. Speaking of, would a young film buff like yourself... Have any interest of a bit of acting of your own? Acting? You mean like in a real movie? Why, of course. We've been quite short of hands lately, you know. Particularly when it comes to humans of the speaking variety. At any rate, go speak to our director. Tell him I sent you. He's sure to know more about this rocket as well. And before you go, take this. Consider it a gift for budding young film aficionados.
not, not a whole ass contract. Even though it's literally just like a clacker board. Like, that's not a full on contract. Baby, there's nothing signed on there. Hmm. I will say, I do wonder, like, what these two things are that I've missed. Because that, this second one would have been right at the beginning. I mean, still, whatever it is, it is. Hey, y'all. Oh, we can't even speak to them. Maybe around this side? Oh, there we go. Welcome to the Monk Hollywood Archives. The vast library of Monk Hollywood movies can be found here. Um... Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, there's nothing we can do with it. Oh, look, there's a save point there. Oh, we can, <laughs> we can play Earthborn if we want. What do they have in the thing? You know, I think I actually have all of those, what is it, things. Yep. All of those picks balls. Um, if there's any that I don't have, it'll have been that. Oh, no, I've got the vulture and the mage. No, and then Mr. Man sat in the chair. I've got him as well. I'll go in here before... Hey. You. Your monkeys, yes? Monkeys? We're not monkeys, we're humans. Impossible. Never before have I seen a human lacking in androgenic hair. A human would exhibit the same hypertrichotic tendencies as I. Monkeys capable of speech, though. Now that is rare. A wild species, perhaps. At any rate, what brings the two of you to Monk Hollywood? Uh, headed to Esther City. This range of cognitive skills is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Still, monkeys will be monkeys. That city is nothing but a legend, you know. It doesn't exist. It does. How oh, I know it does. Our friend is already there. Yes, very well. No use reasoning with monkeys, I suppose. Stubborn, irritable creatures. As if this bitch ain't one themselves. <laughs> right, but before we talk to that floating monkey, I do just want to save. Right, hello. Ooh. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, good lord. A dog-looking robot thing. You ready yet? Oh, Lupo. Rotondo. Almost, almost. I, I can't. I can't just... Oh, just give me a sec. God almighty. At this point, you're gonna miss the shoot. What's wrong? Rotondo won't come out of the bathroom. And we've got an important scene to film today. Oh, does this every time he does. Folds at the crucial moment. Quiet, you. It's... It's a physiological response. I can't help it. Can I go in the other one? Oh, I can. Well, it's a bathroom, so I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> what about the shower? Hey. I know y'all are humans and all, but that don't mean getting ogled in the tub's any less weird. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, then can we just straight up, like, walk into the other bathroom, then? Okay, no. Okie dokie, right, uh, Oh, we can. Right, okay, storage car, um... Let me talk to this floating one first. They're filming a scene for deadly dolls upstairs. Only those with permission from the producer is allowed. Deadly dolls? What's that? How could you not know what Deadly Dolls is? You plebeian. Deadly Dolls is only the newest, hottest sci-fi film to come out of Monk Hollywood. Newest, hottest science fiction film? Oh gosh, that sounds pretty cool. Is it like Earthborn, huh? Earthborn? Now there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. But uh, not really, that's more of a um, period flick. Period flick? Yeah, you know, about the ancient times and all. Ancient times? So that's what they were like. Anyway, I've already said too much. Can we go upstairs? What? The producer recommended you? That old ape? Fine then, you can go up, but quiet on set, you hear? Okay, I'm gonna wait a second before I go up there, because I want to explore. Um... See? Oh, look, it's- no, it's in there. I, I, I see it. 
Sorry folks, no autographs. Afraid these old hands haven't recovered yet. Are you an actor too? <laughs> Am I an actor just because I'm playing babysitter? Don't mean I ain't got the chops. You're looking at the great McKay Bambuna. Picture this, a down on his luck boxer hoping to get back in the ring. There was nothing that could have got in, in my way. Tough as a rock I was, I trained every day, doing whatever I could, even using them frozen bananas. Also, I could go against the great Gorillo Creed. Not Gorillo Creed. That was when my hands got rubbed out, so to speak. They've been out of commission ever since. They're probably going to find someone new for the sequel. Oh, <laughs> okay. Ooh, milk, that's new. And then I'll buy a couple of these for the sake of it. Um, A frog cookie, choco banana, and banana milk. I mean, I've got nothing, like, I've got no space, but... Hey, I've got milk now. <laughs> Just where do you think you're going, huh? That's the special effects room. You can't just go waltzing in there, else heads will go flying, starting with mine. That's fine, and I mean, as long as I don't forget, which I definitely will, there's that chest in that cage. <laughs> well, upstairs we go, I guess, because I mean, there's nothing else we can do, I don't think. Hey, y'all. This is a really big train. Stop it, you two, this is no time for fighting. Already, the doll army has entered the city. Damnation. If only I still had my beef buster 5,000. That old tin can, don't make me laugh. The only thing that hunker bolt's good for is breaking down. What did you say? You dare blaspheme against my beef buster 5,000? I said it once, I'll say it again. Very to me, Shuriman, I said what I said. <laughs> that thing ain't nothing but an old tin can. Slay. <laughs> Idiots, all of you. I said give it to me all sizzle pop, not sizzle flop. Pop, pop, I say sizzle pop. Ugh, you flavoring. Yep, nothing, eek. Duh. What sizzle pop, huh? You got any idea, Denaro? Sizzle pop, sizzle pop. Yes, I would say something along the lines of a sizzle, followed by a pop. You think this pineapple head's got any idea what you's talking about? You gotta use three letter words with this guy, come on. Yeah, three letter words. He says using five and six letter words. Quiet on set. We'll take you from the top again, from the top. And where is Rotondo? He'd better march his shapely derriere right here, right now, or I'm gonna go ape! Ape, I tell you! If he does not produce himself in one minute, he is fired. Okay, well, I'm gonna go exploring, lol. I spy a chest that I can't grab. <laughs> Oh, can I maybe just, like, hold on, I'll just ignore these two for now. Can I maybe just walk behind? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, there we go. What have y'all got to say? I just so happen to have procured myself a freshly squeezed bottle of... Okay, what say you, my lady? Care to join me for a nip back in my room? Ugh, you sound like a human. Don't make me sick. Ho ho, but of course, of course. I thought the more direct approach of the animals would thrill you. My mistake. Okay, work. Let's go to, let's go get Rotundo. Hey y'all, is he ready yet? Almost, almost. I can't, just give me a sec. God almighty. At this point, you're gonna completely miss the shoot. What's wrong? Rotondo won't come out of the bathroom, and we've got an important scene to film. Does- okay, yeah, I was gonna say we've heard this already. Okay. <laughs> and that is my fault how- um... 
Can I maybe just, like, go talk to the producer, then, of this person? Oh, we're running off again. What a... You know, the part is mine. Hee hee hee. Darlings. Yes, yes, yes. Those corpse-like shoulders. Those vacuous expressions. Those part... Oh, okay, it's talking very quickly again. Are uh, everything I've looked for in a man. Tell me, have you ever wanted to be a star? Um... We're just looking for a rocket. I'm the director of this outfit, and you are? I'm Sam, and this is John. The producer sent us here to as lifeless name as your cold dead eyes. Perfect! I don't care who recommended you. I'll be the one deciding who's a star around here. So come on, darlings, show me your stuff. Oh, Lord. Ahem. Eek! What is wrong with this microphone? It is far too quiet. Give me another one. Is that better? <laughs> Much better. I was going to say, is it louder? W what is this? Why is your hair all over it? Oh, whatever, I'll just use the old way. <laughs> now then, George. Or oh, Jorge. It's uh, John, Mr. Director. John, darling, close your eyes. You're a young man without a future. A lazy bum whose piles of crunchies... Gross. <laughs> but you're in love, darling. In love with a feisty jock of a girl who solicits you to take part in the school baseball championship. What you never could have expected, though, was that the girl's brother, yes, her brother, is the captain of the baseball team. In order to prove yourself, you challenge him. Yes, you, the vulnerable, naive young man who knows nothing of the evil world, faces off against the insatiable captain of the s and his succulent abdominable abdominals. Good lord, I can't read. <laughs> Don't rush me, I'm setting the scene. Anyway, that robot, that's her brother. How you prove yourself to him? <laughs> well, it's up to you, darling. Now start. Do I have to play baseball again? I was gonna say like I did against what is it? Um, like I did against the, like the circus troupe. Oh, do I hold on? Do I have to hit the? Oh, good lord, I'm a clown. Okay, now hold on. <laughs> Ooh, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, right, now hold on, so we probably have to, okay, charge up for those big ones. Ow. There we go. Oopsie. <laughs> Wasn't meant to beat the shit out of him. Because I only scored 18. You monster. That performance. I'm speechless. Absolutely verkle camped. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh god, the inspiration is filling me. I can see it, the girl. What does she do? She hesitates. Does she comfort you? Does she care for her injured brother? The tension. And as for you, ah, dear George, um, John, now you find yourself completely and hopelessly in love with baseball. Yes, 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 I can see it now. I even have the perfect name for it. I shall call it Ball, ball in for Love. But first we need to finish shooting this movie. I've seen all I need to see. Find me in the special effects car, would you, darling? Chop, chop, back to work, you lowlifes. I assume we have to go find them in this uh, <laughs> special effects car. Um, and I mean, I believe that was downstairs. Still, um, I'm actually going to end this episode here because that is quite a lot for- Oh look! Daniel and William have made it in here. Yeah, um, we've done quite a lot in this episode, so thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to like if you liked it, subscribe if you'd really like. And hopefully I will see you next time. See- Oh look, we've got the Sonic Punk back. Yes, yeah, see you then! <laughs>